So I think uh, that's pretty much about the compatible interface. Actually, I have taken a break. I slept overnight and I woke up again and I'm shooting again. So, okay. So uh, I think whatever I discussed about the compatible interface is pretty much enough right now. And uh, we can jump into the comparator interface. So right now you can actually question yourself that, okay, uh, we already have a comparable interface, uh, which is helping us to sort everything. Uh, in a natural uh, order, then why we need a comparator interface? What What is actually the comparator interface doing? So there are two kind of interface I told you. One is comparable, one is comparator. Now we are learning comparable and comparable is inside Java dot, Java dot lang package as you can see over here. And the comparable interface has only one method called compare to. And this compare to method is actually returning an integer and that integer is basically minus one, one or zero, which is basically help us, uh, you know, uh, to sort the things using the sort method, right? Because if you see the collection class sort method is basically tech objects, which is comparable. So the comparable compared to method is basically return us an integer and that integer should return us a positive, negative or a number zero. Uh, which is basically help us to sort things. So if you use the collection class sort method, it only accept the object which is comparable. Okay, so basically by using this particular method and whatever this particular method returns using that the sort method, uh, you know, works with his logic and help us to sort all our you know, numbers or string or whatever we provide to it okay pretty simple so any point of time before i move into the next topic i'll tell you any point of time if you're getting confused try debugging okay if you see here in the song class also we have written a compare to method okay let let me say let me remove this uh, minus sign from now let's say i want to sort everything in a ascending order and any point of time you want to see what is happening internally what you can do you can come to the mp4.java class. Let's say, let, let me uh, remove uh, all the songs from here. Let's say I'm removing all the songs. Let's say I'll remove this song and uh, this song here as well. Let's say I have only two song here, song one and song two. Let me change it to song two. Okay, let's say I have only two songs in my list, right? So let's say I'm adding only two songs to my list right here. And after that, I'm trying to sort this particular collection. And after that, again, I'm trying to iterate over my list, right? So if you want to see what is actually ha uh, happening internally, always you can do one thing in the sort method. Here, you can break your program by debugging it. And you can go into the, uh, you know, song class here. And the song class has a compared to method. Let me zoom it. It has a compare to method right here and I can put a debug point here as well in the line, line number 42, okay? And after that, I can debug this particular program and we can see this compare to method is returning a negative number or positive number and how it is actually returning. So, how can I debug? Obviously, I can go to my mp4.java class then here I can do right click, then I can go to debug as and debug, uh, debug as Java application. And uh, if I if I do yes, then you can see right now uh, I have two things in my console is because of uh, this particular iterate uh, list method is returning us uh, these two things, right? I mean, whatever that we have right here right now, song one and song two. Song one is uh, take me to your heart. This this over here. Song two is um, as long as you love me, which is right over here. Now our program got broken right here in line number 22 and I want to invoke this sort method. So you can see as long as I'm going to invoke this sort method, the compared to method of uh, the song class will be get called. If I do F8, you can see I came into the compare to method. Compare to method of which class? Compare to method of song.java, right? So you can see I'm inside the song class, right? So basically the sort method uh, calling compared to method internally, right? So my program flow is in line number 42 right now. Probably I'm using a dark theme right now, right? So uh, it's not pretty visible, but my uh, flow is right now stopped right here. You can see in the line number 42, here is my, uh, you know, breakpoint right now. And here is my program stops. 
So if if I can see over here, this dot get title, this is my current object. If, if, if I put my cursor right here, you can see the current object is Backstreet Boys, right? If you, if you go to mp4.java, basically you, you can think like we have already added this particular song to the list. This song is Take Me To Your Heart is already in the list. Right now, whenever I'm trying to add this particular song to the list, as long as you love me, which is song two right here, uh, the sort method is basically trying to compare song which is already there in the list to the song which we are going to compare uh, the second song is obviously as long as you love me so if, if i go back to the song.java you can see this is the backstreet boys uh, artist is backstreet boys title is as as long as you love me and the another song object which we are getting it should be uh, what is the song take me to your heart right take me to your heart is already there in the list okay it's the first object this is the object that we are trying to compare the current object right so if you see the current object title starts from a okay and the another song this particular title starts from t so you can see this title is a starts from a uh, the current title is a and the already existing title is t so a comes before t or after t obviously a come before t so before means minus so if i am going to execute this particular line or if i can do command shift i right here you can see it is giving us a minus sign okay in the next iteration this particular object will go to top and this particular object will come to down the first object will come to down now if i'll do f8 see the console so this one became the first and this one became the second okay previously this one was the first and this one was the second it's just you know swap uh, the thing right it's pretty simple I think you are getting it <laughs> okay so that's that's all about uh, the comparable interface now let's talk about the comparator interface why we need a comparator interface